Hi guys, today is Friday and I'm with Hey. We are at La Fiesta Grande or better known as The Monkey and tonight there is a live band playing. We are maybe 20 feet from them so we get to see the whole thing. We're gonna get some drinks, have some chips and then we're probably going to go next door to Goodwill before we actually eat and bang get started. <laughs> Hi! We got some like water and stuff at the restaurant and now we're gonna head into Goodwill. I don't know what I'm looking for, but I'm just gonna be looking for things and oh my gosh, it is like... Hey Siri, what's the temperature outside? 21. 21. Okay, we're done. <laughs> That's pretty. Oh, I'm totally getting that. Ooh! Why do I like it. it? I'm getting it. Oh my god, my mom's gonna freak out. She's gonna be like, that's so ugly. Oh well. Oh my gosh, I love this. But anything that catches my eye, I'm grabbing. And I can't stay long. I don't know if I like this. No. No. I don't know why ugly sweaters are in fashion. I would get this, but it's all stained. Okay, look, if you're gonna give stuff to Goodwill, don't give them stuff that's stained. That's just dumb and inconsiderate. Like, if you know no one's gonna get it, just, like, throw it away. So I am 100% not at all saying to not donate to Goodwill to people that need clothing. But things that were so stained that you know that no one will buy it, because it looks so bad. If it's stained so bad where it's supposed to be gray and it's yellow, then it's not gonna be worn by anyone. After a while, they start throwing away clothing that is not bought. I go to Goodwill to buy clothing because it's number one cheap and because there's always good stuff there. I'm not saying don't donate. I am saying please donate, but make sure you look at the item before you donate it so it will actually go to good use. That's actually cute. I don't care. I wear that with leggings. Oh. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm looking for. I'm just looking around. We can be twins. Oh, what do you mean? Ew, these are cute. We can be twins. I like the blue and brown one, but I don't like the green one. I like the green one. Okay, then get that one. I'm not going to Wait, you don't want one? Oh, then I'll get the blue one. Oh, these are so expensive. Now I'm sad. <sighs> There's a hole in these leggings. I'm gonna cry. Oh, I love this. I wanna try this on. That's so pretty. <gasps> I knew you would like that. I saw that and I knew you would like it. I think it'd be too small for me though. Okay, I'm putting it to here. Too small. I wouldn't get it over my thigh. Gucci? <laughs> Hold on. You have to get them, they're so ugly. Oh. oh, I don't wear boot cut, bro. So I think we're gonna try some of this stuff on and we're gonna get out of here and go back to the restaurant, so. Got the button. Mm, no, okay. <laughs> so I got a really cute button up dress, which it looks Gucci, but it's not. But I'm just gonna say it is. And then I got this really cute, like, maroon and black striped sweater. And it's like a half turtleneck. I know I don't like turtlenecks, but it looked nice and it was, like, form-fitting and it wasn't super loose. And then I got a... What else did I get? <laughs> and then I got a red velvet top with little ruffles on the sleeve and it's really, really pretty. <laughs> first things that I found that I really liked and it's a maroon with black stripes and the stripes get smaller once it gets to the top it is kind of like a turtleneck but it's shorter than a turtleneck so it only goes up halfway other than folding and being everywhere else but it fits nicely and it is kind of form-fitting on the upper part of the body and then goes down a little bit looser which is nice it's a red velvet blouse with a nice little tie 
and you can make a little bow and it's really cute it's short sleeve it looks like a tank top but it's not it's short -sleeve. so this is a express I don't, I don't know, but it looks like a designer brand and I really liked it. There's like 12 buttons and there's a lot. It's quite difficult to button them up with my long nails, but it's still manageable. And I really, really like how it fits and how it looks on me. The arms are form fitting and the upper part of the body is form fitting and it goes down to my legs and it looks really, really nice. So those were the clothes that I got at Goodwill. Those were, it's snowing. Yeah. I didn't know. So those were the clothes that I got at Goodwill. It was $10.89. That was how much that cost. So that's not bad for getting those few things. That was the maximum that we would have liked to pay for going there. And I was pretty I was pretty surprised. So on another note, while we were trying on clothes, there was this guy and he was like just kind of like walking around. And I think he said that his like girlfriend or something was in one of the changing rooms. And he had three teardrops on his eye. Scared. <laughs> I saw that. He would like run past me like every five seconds. Like, like <laughs> just like running. Just, I don't know. I don't know. It was scary. I was scared. Today is Saturday and Paige is going to her concert today. Very excited for her. I'm probably going to hang around the house. Probably maybe go to the gym later with my mom. Probably not. I don't know. And just hang out. So I'm making coffee and I'm making a McCafe's hazelnut. I'm always making coffee. <laughs> I got a grande peach citrus white tea. Ice. So we got Starbucks. I got a sea salt caramel mocha. Okay, so we're gonna be making coffee. So we went to Starbucks. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do today. I'll probably film a video with my mom, maybe. I might just do nothing all day. And watch YouTube. I would like for some of my friends and some people that I might not be super close with but still try to watch my videos to share the videos. I want to actually do this because I've invested a lot of time already in it and so has Paige. Paige is my um, editor and director and, and, director manager. and manager. She does everything. She gives me ideas for different videos and then helps me along with it. I don't know how to talk to people so this is kind of like difficult for me because I have a lot of social anxiety. I don't like talking in front of groups. I don't, unless I'm close to you. Like I'll talk to my friend group all the time and say whatever I want. But if it's, I'm not really comfortable around you, then it's really difficult for me. So doing this and then realizing people I don't know are gonna watch my videos, then that's scary a little bit to me. But I do want to become more relaxed. I need to get used to people seeing me and the thought of it because it just scares me and I'm nervous that all this time is gonna go to waste and that we're gonna get 40 subscribers and then have nothing you know and my parents spent money on this um, training videos and stuff like a lot of money my mom and Paige's dad and it will be sad if this doesn't work out so I'm asking you guys as well to help me out I'm not looking for pity it mean a lot to me the more subscribers we get with the account and the more views that we get with the account the more we can do with the channel the more things that we me and Paige can go do adding my school vlogs being able to vlog more at school because I know a few of you have been in my school vlogs that are being edited by me but I will be having school vlogs as well it would be a lot more entertaining but beneficial as an entertainment setting other than just me sitting and talking but yeah thank you <laughs> thank you for watching my video I know it wasn't super long and not a lot of content but I hope you enjoyed I'm really really happy I was able to talk about that kind of stuff and get that through to you guys I am working on I'm not even joking I have four videos that I'm editing right now one of them's all the way from October from last year, which is from the 21 Pilots concert, which I'm lazy, so I don't like to edit. I'm very thankful for you guys to support me the way you guys do. It's really great. It's really a lot of fun to do it, and I hope that I will be doing it for a long time. So on the 16th, I am going to Nashville to audition for The Voice. I honestly wasn't going to tell anybody about this because I'm so nervous about it and I probably won't get in. 
but I just wanted to put that out there because I will be vlogging during that. I'm just a little nervous about that and I just decided to say what the heck, might as well do it. I mean, I can always do it next year. I can do it the next year after that. I can keep doing it every year until they shut down. I mean, honestly, it's not that big of a deal. I just hope that I do get through to that. And I will have to post some videos of me singing, so get ready for that. <laughs> Y'all remember that last video that we did? That's for the gum and the driveway. <laughs> Friends on. Waste my mind. headphones work is you cannot hear yourself and you cannot hear your own pitch so in my head I sounded just like the people singing but I couldn't hear myself so my pitch was off but that's not at all what I sound like so yeah all right guys I'll see you in the next video <laughs> bye